was like, oh, is that your boy over there? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, he's like checking himself out on that camera. I'm like, nah, he's got a YouTube channel. And he was like, oh, he's like, I honestly thought he was like taking selfies on a $500 camera. Nah. No. No. <laughs> no. I, w I would though. I would. Yeah, I was like. What's going on guys, Bob from Olympus Iron. Before this video even starts, I want to thank everyone uh, for making 20,000 subscribers happen. I'm what? super pumped. What? Olympus Iron! But uh, seriously guys, it means a ton to me. Uh, I've come so far since that first day when we decided to make videos. Um, man, I was pumped when we used to get 200 subscribers. Like when I got 200 subscribers, I was ecstatic. 20,000, I can just imagine 20,000 of you in a room, that's what I'm worry, wondering right now. And like almost 2 million views on YouTube, guys, I'm literally blown away from this. And good comments, bad comments, any of those, I'm like, it's helped me grow and this has helped me grow as a person too. You know, I originally wanted to put out knowledge and, and motivation to you guys, but I found myself actually being more motivated and more thirsty for knowledge now that I actually have the channel. So, I'm glad that you uh, guys have enriched my life. You guys have definitely helped me out and uh, I don't know where I would be right now if it wasn't for, you know, starting a YouTube channel. So, thank you so much guys. That being said, um, we are training with Jared and Aaron, today. not Aaron, Ant. We're training with Jared and Ant today. And uh, we're gonna get a little bit of chest in and probably some Chipotle. Uh, I've been eating the new meals from Project Lean Nation and the new chef, Chef Robert, stuff's awesome. I had the meatballs today and I also had the turkey taco, the ground turkey taco meat and then it had the breading at the bottom. It was so good, guys. Uh, you still have to add a little hot sauce or a little mustard to the meatballs, but other than that, it's like so fresh, so good, and it's even getting better than, than it was before, which is insane. So, help them keep me on point. Plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. When you guys uh, have a hangover or you have a headache or anything like that, alka seltzer works worlds. Um, my hangover cure usually is an alkyl seltzer and a multivitamin before I go to bed. And then as soon as I get up, alkyl seltzer, multivitamin, and then like drink out of my gallon of water. And it works. I never get hangovers. But not hungover right now. I just have a headache before uh, the workout. So I usually hit alkyl seltzer by the time I get to the gym. It'll be all right. And I don't know. Maybe it's something about pressure or something. I don't know how alkyl seltzer works. All I know is that it works. So that's my tip for you. Alka seltzer. Don't drink it until all the fizzing is done. So plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Then, oh, what a relief it is. All right, guys. Real quick, we had a uh, a great chest workout, but I really just want to highlight it. One exercise that we did, and it was a push, uh, a push fly, which you start off like you're gonna do an incline dumbbell press, and then as you go up, you actually turn the dumbbells and you almost touch, basically touch your pinkies and you flex your upper chest hard. Now, the reason why I wanted to spotlight this exercise is because a lot of people with bad shoulders actually will avoid some form of dumbbell flies because it's uncomfortable. I know sometimes, especially with um, the pinch in my rotator cuff sometimes, that dumbbell flies aren't the most comfortable and everyone wants a, a, a thick upper chest and most people don't, you know, that's not their strong point point and that's usually like uh, an aspiration for everybody so this kind of hits a little bit of both and you're able to squeeze at the top really really hard and I like I like to even give it three second holds like Jared's holding it a little bit longer at the top and you will just feel the blood drive into the muscle and with this too you can go heavier than normal on a fly like we were actually working with 65s here and we went up to 70s um, so if you have shoulder injuries or if you're just burnt out you know if you do high volume training with a lot of shoulders or you hit chest twice a week, hit shoulders twice a week, and you know, you're just fried at this point, you should try these uh, push flies. They're really good and uh, Ant was actually saying that he messed up his shoulder for a little while and had tendonitis in his elbow and he was doing these and they were, uh, and they were actually still comfortable. So overall, a great exercise for you to try out. Another thing in your arsenal, arsenal to help your gains. Check it out guys. 
As always, train like a god. This is the end of the commentary, like the rest of this video. What's going on, guys? Bob from Mobile Siren, just at your local Chipotle with some Coke Zero. And for my bowl, I just got chicken, cheese, pinto, and brown rice. Um, no tortilla. I'm trying to like lower my carbs significantly because my body responds to low carbs, as you guys already know that. I'm here with Jared and Ant. Jared and Ant both belong to uh, Pike. And it's a sorority, sorority. It's a fraternity. And uh, I've known Jared like almost my whole life. And uh, and Ant, I'm just meeting. And Ant is strong as fuck on chest. We need to get, have him hit legs a little more because he's a frat bro. But regardless, he thought I was checking myself out in my camera. But little does he know that I that I vlog. Nicest guy though. He always gives me extra chicken. Don't tell anybody though. He thought I was checking myself out, didn't he? Did he say that to you? Nah, but yeah, I heard him say it. I heard, I heard him say it. What'd you tell? What'd you, what'd you tell him? Stackosaurus. What's up? What's up, Juice Monger? What? Oh, is that your boy over there? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, he's like checking himself out on that camera. I'm like, nah, he's got a YouTube channel. And he was like, oh, he's like, I honestly thought he was like taking selfies on a $500 camera. Nah. <laughs> no. I, w I would though. I would. Yeah. I was like